Hello guys, my name is Victoria Pavlov, I'm the Photoshop artist and today in honor of the Winter Olympics we create very beautiful vector art using Adobe Mobile application. We will be using Adobe Illustrator Draw and iPad Pro with Apple Pencil. So guys, let's start. As you can see, I have opened my uh, Illustrator Draw and now I will create a new document. To create a new document, I will click on plus sign and I will click on iPad landscape. Here, let me close it first. Uh, by default, I have two layers. I have one draw layer, one background layer, and also I have all diff beautiful default brushes. You can use any brush you are more comfortable with. I will click on my brush. I will change color. I will change color to the first um, ring color. I link ring, a ring rings color just like that maybe something like this and I'm okay I will bring size up to about 17 yeah 17.5 and now on my right uh, top uh, corner I have my default shapes I will click on shapes icon to expand it and I will click on ellipse just like that. I can modify my ellipse, I can move it at any uh, place I want to. And guys, I would like now you pay close attention to what I will be doing. To fill your shape with color, you need to click and hold inside your shape. To apply only stroke to your shape, you need double tap inside your shape. So I don't want to have color inside my shape, but I would like to have a stroke um, with my shape. So I will double click inside my um, shape and voila. If you would like to have a bigger uh, shape, a bigger um, stroke, you need to increase size of your brush and double click inside just like that and voila. Now I will move my shape just like that. I'm not changing uh, any parameters for my shape. I'm just moving this. I will create a new layer. I will change color for my brush. I will change color to the black, second color of a second ring. And I will double tap inside just like that. Now I will move my shape one more time. I will create a new layer and I will change color for my brush. I will use right now red color and I will double tap inside of my shape. Now I will move my shape one more time just like that. I will create a new layer. I will change color for my uh, brush to the yellow and I will double tap inside of my uh, shape just like that. I will move my shape just like that. I will create a new empty draw layer. I will change color of my brush to the green and I will double tap inside of my shape just like that. Now I will close my shape and voila. Time to adjust my rings. I will switch to eraser tool. I will bring size down for my eraser tool. I still have highlighted my green ring layer. I will increase, I will zoom in my document for better preview and now I will erase part of my ring just like that. Spend some time and also I will erase this side of my ring. Let me zoom out and you will see what I did. So same I will do with yellow ring. I will select my uh, yellow ring layer, I will zoom in my document and I will erase part of my yellow ring. Just like that. For better preview, I will recommend you to zoom in your um, document 
as close to you as it as it's possible for a comfortable work and also I will um, erase this part of my ring perfect I will zoom out and same I will do uh, let's see what do I need to do else I don't need to erase any other ring so I have right now very nice um, Olympics uh, um, uh, icon rings and I will merge all visible layers except my background layer so I will click on top layer green ring merge down merge down merge down and merge down now I have two layers one background and one uh, Olympic uh, Olympics uh, games uh, rings just like that now we will create another element of our uh, design I'm big fan of figure skating so I will create um, a very nice figure uh, skate shoes so let me zoom in um, I will create new draw layer I will switch to my brush tool again guys you can use any brush you are more comfortable with I will change color for my brush I will use um, kind of a light shade of gray color I will bring down size for my brush just I will zoom in my document and voila I will use free hand right now guys I've, I'm not using any shapes default shapes all exported uh, imported shapes I'm just using a free hand style of drawing just like that don't stress out guys you can adjust at any time so I will increase size for my brush if you would like to undo one of multiple steps simple click on undo button just like that and voila this is will be my simple shape of figure skates just like that and voila I will close uh, top of my shoe and I will click and hold inside of my shape just like that and voila guys now I will create a new layer new draw layer I will switch color to the black you can use any color you want to I will bring size for my brush down and I will create a very nice art effect if you made again mistake simply click undo I will increase size for my brush and voila guys to, to do better job definitely you need to spend more time what I will do now guys I will merge top two layers merge down and now I have three layers I have background layer I have Olympic um, Olympics uh, rings and I have my shoe I will create new layer new draw layer I will bring size down for my brush just like that and I will create a lace just like that bring size down for my brush and something like that and again guys you can use any style you want to now I will create extra uh, elements so kind of applying art style to my shoe just like that and I'm all set with my shoe I will merge top two layers 
merge down and now I still have three layers background um, rings and a shoe layer I will create new empty layer I will change color for my brush guys you can use any color uh, or colors you want it depends of your style depends of your preferences so maybe something like that I will increase size for my brush I will move my layer under my shoe layer so I will click and drag this layer under my shoe layer so you can restock your layers at any time and I will create a rest of my shoe I will increase size just like that And again, guys, you can spend more time to create more beautiful art. Everything depends on your preference. Just like that. I will click and hold inside my shape and voila. So what I will do now, guys, I will merge top layer and layer under my uh, shoe layer. So I highlighted my shoe layer, merge down, and now I still have three layers. Why? One a background, one um, Olympics uh, rings, and one uh, my shoe layer. Let me zoom out. So what I will do, guys, I still have highlighted my top layer, my shoe layer. I will click and I will click on transform. I will bring size down just like that. I will slightly rotate it and I will move it up just like that. Click OK. Done and voila. I will duplicate this layer. Click duplicate and my duplicated uh, layer positioned on top of my all other layers and still highlighted. I will click transform and I will move it just like that and I will rotate it and maybe I will resize it slightly let's see just something like that yes I like it most and I will click done so what I need to do I need to have something connecting my uh, rings and my shoes I will create a new empty layer I will switch to black color I will bring down size for my brush. I will zoom in my document and I will create simple um, lace. Just like that. And voila. So guys, this is our art. In honor of the Winter Olympics, we have created very beautiful vector art using Adobe mobile application, Adobe free mobile application, Adobe Illustrator Draw. Also, I used um, iPad Pro and Apple Pencil. Guys, um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm here to answer to any of your questions and I will see you later. Thanks and bye, guys.